And this is especially timely now uh, with the uh, Wisconsin situation with the neo-Nazi jerk-off who's a governor trying to uh, bust the unions and suck the Koch brothers' dick. But anyway, this is uh, dedicated to my friend Jackie Ray. Uh, this is by William Butler Yeats. It's not one of mine. It's called September 1913. And it's about the lockout that occurred in Dublin in September 1913, hence the title, <clears throat> where the employers locked the workers out of the factories in an effort to uh, bust the unions and to uh, make the workers accept less pay and to bring them to their knees. But here it is, September 1913 by William Butler Yeats. <clears throat> what need you being come to sense but fumble in a greasy till but add the half pence to the pence and prayer to shivering prayer until you have dried the marrow from the bone for men were born to pray and save romantic Ireland's dead and gone it's with O'Leary in the grave. Yet they were of a different kind, the names that stilled your childish play. They have gone about the world like wine, but little time had they to pray. For whom the hangman's rope was spun, and what God help us could they save? Romantic Ireland's dead and gone, it's with O'Leary in the grave. Was it for this the wild geese spread, that grey wing upon every tide? For this that all that blood was shed, for this said Edward Fitzgerald died, and Robert Emmett and Wolf Tone, all that delirium of the brave. Romantic Ireland's dead and gone, it's with O'Leary in the grave. Yet could we turn the years again and call those exiles as they were, in all their loneliness and pain, you'd cry, some woman's yellow hair has maddened every mother's son. They weighed so lightly what they gave, but let them be they're dead and gone they're with O'Leary in the grave God bless you Jack God bless Ireland thank you for watching